so let's go back to Southampton Cambridge. What on earth is happening over here? Roman drew, so it's still tied. Three games remaining. Time scramble okay. in all games. It's Oh my god. It can't get any closer. <laughs> Everyone has it going. It's Dylan from Chess Lifestyle. Uh, today we're bringing to you the Pukul semifinals uh, stream. And this was from a couple weeks ago. And Pukul, uh, in case you're not familiar, is our chess league, which is the Pro University Chess League. Uh, that is run for uh, university students in the UK and we had uh, 20 teams this year it's been great but now we're down to the semis and we've got we got Oxford we got two Cambridge teams and we have Southampton all battling against each other to try to win the Charlie Chesscat Cup the finals are actually going to be taking place on uh, Saturday the day after this video will air so uh, tune in for that if you catch this video in time. It's going to be on uh, Title Untitled Twitch channel. And this is Akito's Twitch channel, who is, um, at the time of this stream, actually, he was the MVP leaderboard leader from uh, Loughborough University and a uh, very strong player and uh, former uh, England junior champion. In fact, Paul. Okay, I bought an iron sword as well. We should be good. Oh, I can buy it. I dime llama. Um, so yeah, there should be some uh, exciting commentary, uh, some fun banter, and stay tuned for future videos on recaps of the finals and uh, possibly an after event with uh, the famous Ginger GM, who is one of our sponsors. So, uh, hope you enjoy and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Yeah, so Akita, who do you think is going to win this year's uh, um, competition? I think Cambridge University will win. I mean, you've got a good 50% chance there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which one. They're in both semi-final brackets, so... But we lost to, we lost to both of them, so... Ah, uh, really? <laughs> got to back one of them to win. <laughs> Just in time to watch Daniel Fernandez. This is the last and decisive uh, game in the semifinals between Cambridge and Southampton. It all came down to this game. Uh, GM Daniel Fernandez for Cambridge versus FM Marcus Harvey for Southampton. And they've both shared, um, they've shared lots of games and quicker time controls against each other in the past. So this one was very exciting. Uh, lots of tactics back and forth. So hope you enjoy. What's going on? Yeah, I guess you want to attack on the G file. King F2. Next move. But how did the king get to G1? Okay, I see. Right, so we... Okay, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, is the plan to go like King F2, Rook F1, King E1? And we're just going to try and hide in the center? I think so. Or we'll double on the queens on the G file. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. What do we think about this pass pawn on e5 that's connected? Like, um, I guess the plan will be to stick a knight there, some kind of like knight f8, knight e6. But yep, it's a big strength. I mean, is this more of an advantage for white having this pass pawn? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it's an asset. Knight e1 is preparing for knight h4, I'm guessing. We want to trade trade knights and then bring another knight to f3. Otherwise, king f2, knight g2, maybe. Or the idea is to go, go this way. Alright, let's come back. Wait, I'm not I'm not understanding this at all. So what was the point of knight e1? So if you trade the f3 knight, you can always bring another one to f3. Ah, okay. Knight on c2 wasn't doing much, I don't think, so... Right. Um, I mean, could the knight have gone to b4? Or I guess it's just like a one-move threat of trying to take the d5 pawn, and then once it's stopped, there's nothing? Yeah, there's no reinforcements. Right. Okay. Still, I think I'm taking black in this position. You take I, black. I don't know. I'm. Yeah, I. I don't know. I don't trust this whole. It's easier to white, play. Like white has a better pawn structure, but I don't like the pieces. I feel like they kind of get in each other's way, mm. and black will find a way in. For sure, white needs to trade some pieces. 
get into an end game. Definitely. Um, Roman versus Satch is looking like a mm -hmm. draw at the moment. Right. So here, I guess Black should try and play like Bishop A6. Yeah. Um, well, the I don't know. At this point, if you trade and you're like Queen H5, maybe. The cycle begins again. Right. It's tricky. Black wants to attack. How is how is Black going to use this G5 move now? Is he going to push G4, or just leave it, or I don't I'm, think taking all F4 can be good. I'm tempted to play G4. If you take, then right. E takes, then you mount the pressure on the E file. Yeah, exactly. So I think G4, and the idea is to try and push H5, H4, yeah, and provoke a weakness that way. Bam. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, I, w I definitely wouldn't say, I could not say this is drawn at well, all. Like, I feel like one side will crash through. You think? From, yeah. Um, that'll, that'll be, it'll end with a bang, I think. End with a this bang. Game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we move to the next one? Banthony. Banthony. So, what on earth? Down 77. So the time difference, Dan almost has a 10 minute Ooh, advantage wow. on the clock. So that's going to be pretty big, I think. Mm -hmm. Especially since the position has so much tension still. Yep. Got to guard B2, C4, potential F3. There's a lot. Oh wait, no, C4 is guarded by the queen. Let me just rook B1. Then like... Knight F Knight F three looks strong. Yeah, I like I like Knight F three. Just take the bishop pair and open up the position eventually. Hmm. I don't know if it's that easy though. Okay, let's see what he decides. Also, though Knight F three, like you've got a very strong knight on E five and. Probably trading the pieces will give White an easier job of playing under this time pressure. I don't know. What would you play in this position? Mm, why not like C6? C6. Yeah. Uh, it's a good move. Maybe Knight E3. I guess you can still bail out with knight f3 check mm -hmm. in that position. And it kind of transposes. It's annoying. White can always play h3, king h2, and then everything's protected. Even if you get knight yeah. f3. Right. Mm, what's the right move here? f5 any good? F5 looks very Maybe suspicious. Maybe it opens up the bishop on D2, so that's not a good idea. F3 here, maybe... Wait, is F3 what chat's saying? Or I mean no? F5, I meant. What do you F mean F3? F5? Oh, F5. Then what's happening? It's very complicated. My idea was, uh, I guess actually recapturing with the queen doesn't work because C7 drops. Mm. So, okay, c6, that's your move. C6. Correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, would you ever enter opposite colored bishops here? Like, if knight e3, bishop takes e3. And if bishop takes, then knight f3. And then you can just say that your light squares, his light squares, are going to be weak. I would do that. Um, but what if they take the rook? Ah. And you've given up the bishop pair. Yes. So maybe knight f3 first, and then if they don't do anything, you just take the bishop, then knight next move. 
Right. There. That doesn't feel right. Yeah. Does the e4 pawn come under some pressure in this position if knight f3? Yeah. So knight f3, like, if king h1, then we can probably even just take pawn e4. So if knight f3, bishop f3, bishop f3, how is black dealing with this attack on the e4 pawn? Um... Queen d3. I guess. Queen d3 C5? does this one. Is that you very ugly? Knight f5 check, winning f3. Well, not winning, but trading. Ah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. White has bishop takes e5 into mezzo on bishop e3. Oh, true, true, true. If I were to take on e3, oh, you yes. can prevent the opposite club bishops by taking e5. Right, right. That's, Good spot. That's... Dylan. So I reckon. I reckon knight f3 is still the move. Although. Queen d3 is a tricky move. Queen d3 takes, rook takes. Bishop g. Mm. I don't know, it's very tricky. Let's uh let's let's go to the uh, Oxford games. Sure. So on board one, wow, a pawn on h3. Yeah, this is a wild game. For sure. How did we get it? Oh, so it's another of the F3 playing for E4 type. Ah, yeah. Games. Gets it. H5 was the idea. Uh... Wait, wasn't it Anoni Rat uh, on the white side last time? Or was he on the black side? He was on Could the white be. side. Yeah. Um, Funny. I guess he knows this, this opening pretty well. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking black 100%, I think. This looks so, so shaky for white. Yeah, that king on h on with a pawn on h3, it's definitely dodgy for sure. Although, how do black's pieces coordinate to actually make use of it? Hmm. Like, I think white, let's say, can white even just play, this is probably losing in 10 different ways, but queen d3? And just try and play e5 next move. Play so you take on g2, king takes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, take on h3. I wouldn't do this because now this is an extra tempo that we've lost. Yeah. I would rather play an active move like queen d3 than waste the tempo with taking. Now, what's the play? Hello, Holly. Thanks for joining the stream. Um, Hello, hello. There should be a good move here. What about some rook takes d2 and queen takes d4? Something like that one. Oh, wait, I didn't even see that. That looks great. Well, if this was a 3-0 three, three game, I'm, I'm playing that instantly. <laughs> hmm? So rook b1 would be needed, but then... Ah. Uh, doesn't doesn't go for my doesn't go for my brilliance brilliancy yeah. promise. This is also fair, good. Yeah, I mean the e4 pawn would be dropping there, and the f2 square is weak. Actually, it might work. That's fine. Mhm. Mm Got to break down the connected center. Yeah. Somehow. But Creases. actually, this move is actually pretty good at doing that as well. There are now three attackers on the pawn, and also hitting the c2 bishop. So how does he deal with this? So bishop d3, knight, knight. Knight takes. Okay, no. Bishop, bishop, uh, bishop b1, no, then knight. I think queen d6 is just <laughs> almost gg. Like, rookie 2? It's 
still Night Ticks? D5. Aha. Um. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Maybe, maybe Black can throw in Queen C3, hitting the Rook on A1. After and then, so oh, uh, after D5. So yeah. Um, yeah. Rook C3. Rook. Um. Maybe. Wait. Bishop. So just to clarify. So the line is Rook E2, Knight E4, D5, Queen C3, C3. Bishop B2. Does that not just hang the bishop? If you take, then bishop e4 is with tempo. Attacking the rook, uh, the queen with the rook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's also queen f3 to worry about. And yes. After bishop b2, uh, king rook g2 maybe? <laughs> no. Yeah, king g1 well, I think is forced. Yeah. Bishop takes h3. Bishop h, oops. Bishop h3 and then knight e3 also. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that, that's also a move. Is that a move? Ah, hitting the knight. Yeah. Nice. Did not see that one coming. So what now? Knight c something? Knight. Yeah, knight e4, bring in the pieces. Or can we even just play knight, knight e4? Now that there's no d5, who cares if we lose a knight? We're, we're checkmating. Oh yeah. Oh wait, yeah, no. Yeah, knight e4, come on. You can give up the knight on a5. Yeah, you're winning the queen at least. Yeah. With this... knight f2, just double check. Right. Yeah, so it's There paid. we go. That's GG, <laughs> sure. Money rat on the stream. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop here, rook takes. D5. Fuck, I thought you'd just take it. Yeah, that, this makes sense. But if you take on D5, Bishop takes A5, you've got rook D4 check. Sorry, which move? D5. Yeah, queen takes D5, Bishop takes A5, and rook D4 check. So he yeah. couldn't take... A knight. So queen f3 is the idea. Queen f3. Uh, then could you play bishop c6? c6? Yeah. Yeah. Bishop a5. Queen a5. Whoa. Rook e4. He's chill with that? Oh, because five. there's no queen d5 because bishop c6. I'm yeah. just very slow matching up on the... Oh. So wait, this is game over. I think black wins. Black wins this one. Oh, rook takes f1. What a lovely move. Oops. Oh, oh, I'm behind. Oh, uh, really? I had paused okay. the uh, the moves going forward. Okay, bishop c6. Right. S <clears throat> yeah, so... that's game over. Oh wait, actually, it's not game over. I, <laughs> I thought like somehow <laughs> Black was just like up a piece or something, but apparently not. Pawn up. <laughs> but yeah. Who is this Anoni Rat? Downtime. Not really smashing it. Anoni Rat. The, the the username is pretty sus. It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Ansel. Is he related to Simon Alan Ansel? Ansel? International I, Master. Who is Simon Ansel? Ah, okay. Maybe. Okay, so what pieces would you want to keep on the board in this position? Would you just... I mean, obviously Black would love to go into a pawn endgame, but... Probably just try and trade the rooks, right? Yeah, I would not have traded yeah. rooks as white, I don't think. Because right. now... Black just keeps his pawns on light squares. Harasses the bishop. Gets his king involved. He's basically yep. two pawns up, and that's enough to win. Yeah, knight games. c4 incoming, so this is... Yeah. And then bishop c1's forced, because bishop b4 is a5. 
Are you sure? I mean, bishop uh, b4, a5, bishop moves to like c5 or something? What? Oh, true. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Well, it's still still an extra pawn. Like, now, then you play f5, king f7. Yeah, I think, yeah, I wouldn't start pushing the queenside pawns just yet. I would, there's no rush. I can just, yeah, start with f5, exactly. Yeah. Damn, I think Anoli Rat is going 4 for 4. Really? Yeah, I don't think he lost a game. That's mad. What a very clutch performance. Mm hmm. Okay, should we move on to a different game? Oh, yep. but actually, Anoli Rat only has 20 seconds, so he has to be very careful. Not he has to be very uh... quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's getting okay, tense. he's down to 10 seconds. What is he doing? <laughs> he just developed the king. And he's putting on a dark square. That's interesting. Ah, oh, surely, surely white can't hold this. But yeah, it looks like the queenside pawns are crumbling. Is that, yeah, interesting. Interesting stuff. I feel maybe like maybe a draw. a draw is within reason. Mm -hmm. Allowing h5 was probably a mistake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trading these pawns is a... Uh... So actually I think f5 may have been the start of the problem because mm. with f5, you're push overextending this pawn. It's immediately under attack with king f4. And then you have to waste another pawn move of g6. Yeah. Not activate the king. So. so maybe f6 was the play. f6, king f7. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, he, he's choking, I think. Oh! I don't agree with bishop c3, though. You're mm. basically allowing a pass pawn on the queen side. I guess he thinks he can just sack the bishop for the pawn. Okay, h5. Yeah. King f6. Then h6. b4. Oh, okay, it's a, oh, it's, it's a draw. It's then, a draw. That's a very strange decision. Yeah. I feel like, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Wow. So, uh, which team is... Okay. So, huge, huge save. I mean, Oxford was um, down half a point going into this, so very, very important save from Philip to draw that. And now he just has so to So it's all tied up. Teammate. Is it? No, wait. Oxford no. is... Oxford's up a whole point oh. now. Oh, all oh, right. Oxford... Wait. Thomas... Uh, Thomas Moss won against Gabriella. Ah, okay. I see. Right, right. Oh, well, the king Wait, might... So I mean, Oxford are one and a half points up? Just... They were half a point up before, right? So, Oxford is half a point up, and then they won a game. So, I think they're... Yeah. Yeah, one and a half okay. points in the lead. So that means Cambridge needs to win the last two games. Yeah. Uh, the King, King, King Mag one and a half to bring it to Armageddon. So, King yeah, Magnus gonna win. King Magnus just a piece up. Right. So it's okay. all on. So... Oh. It's all on <laughs> Andrew. Max, Andrew and both on forty seconds. Andrew needs to win. Andrew's in a must yeah. win. Or draw because it, then it will go down to Armageddon, right? Oh no no no. Um, Cambridge are up 8-6 right now. I mean, Oxford are up 8-6, so... Andrew needs, to, Andrew needs to win to get to Elmageddon. I can't do the maths in my head. Oh, right, yeah, it is 8-6. Right, right. Yeah, Daniel's, Daniel's got it correct. Oh, and... Black Andrew's resigned. Not... Oxford so... go through. 
Let's go through. Madness. Congratulations. Madness. It will not yeah. be an all Cambridge final. That's very much. That's, that's exciting. Yes, but yeah, well played to both sides, like making it such a close match. Very yep. entertaining games. GG's. Um, so yeah, did Andrew just blunder a piece right at the end there? I think so. Because Knight takes A4, like opened up the Rooks. Um, oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's look at the live game still. So let's go back to Southampton Cambridge. What on earth is happening over here? Roman drew, so it's still tied. Three games remaining. Time scramble okay. in all games. It's Oh my god. It can't get any closer. <laughs> okay, which one should we watch? It's gotta be board one, right? Board one, okay. Sounds good. Whoa, okay. So White has the better pawn structure. Yeah. Do you play rook g4 here? Why would you not want to trade? Because then that gets closer to an end game, right? So we keep the rooks yeah. on. Knight h2 is winning the pawn on g4. Right, right. Yeah, uh... more of a more vulnerable. Rook e2 is an annoying threat. Maybe king f2? Doesn't care. Maybe on rook e2 is a knight e1, just to kind of like... It looks so that. passive. Or maybe. Yeah. Wait, Billy's F4? actually positive. Huh? Billy's, Billy's scored more points against Dan. <laughs> Yeah. On the yeah. Blitz, Blitz games. Interesting. Oh, down to five seconds. Billy might might clutch this. I played Knight C to E1. Okay, so... Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's GG, right? Yeah, losing a piece. The on H3. Billy's won it. Billy was the biggest man of all. Yeah, okay, let's move on to another game. So let's okay. assume if Billy wins, draw on Roman's board. What's happening on board three? Bantony versus Dan. This should be a draw. It should be a fortress. Which means... Right. Oh. And on the final board? Spiros. Spiros. Who's, which team is Spiros? Oh, Southampton won. Oh, what a, what a game. Wow. So huge. Southampton would win if Yeah, if uh, Billy converts a piece up. If Billy wins this it yeah, it's a it would yeah. be a Southampton Oxford final. No way, no way. <laughs> Neither Cambridge team able to pull it off. Wow. So I don't know if you jinxed it by saying Cambridge would win <laughs> or I luck of predicting with Southampton. Or yeah, too strong. If, yeah, I, I back I back Southampton to take this all the way. Yeah, they've shown in this last round, like. Well, I guess the rounds aren't the games aren't finished yet, so. Yeah, it's not Which entirely one, clear. We... How is this uh, won by Billy? And Billy's now the one down to five seconds. So, mm -hmm. will he find a way to convert? Would there be any more blunders? So, Fernandez is uh, activating his knight. And when the knight comes to d6, it's going to be so powerful. Is there not like mating nets? Not quite. Not quite with the king in the center like that. Um... You do have the a pawn as a potential attacker. So, could you somehow get question how do you uh, check the king yeah exactly okay so he's going to try rook h1 rook is that the plan king g5 bishop where d7 makes sense oh uh, but i feel like the king's got less squares though it would make me nervous i'd be so mm. nervous <laughs> this is very tense oh okay that's that's one way to do it threat of knight somewhere knight discovery check 
Where would you want to discover? Okay. Just keep pinning. Am I putting up a real good fight? Mm -hmm. Are they gonna repeat? Maybe, um, maybe uh, Billy knows that Spiros is uh, one. Um, Let me check the result of Bantony. Did they finish? Oh no, they're still playing. Still going, but it, this looks like okay. a dead draw. But still, Fortress with 10 seconds is. <laughs> it's yeah. Not a good job. Crazy. Anything okay. can happen. Yeah. So the Discover check is possible now if he wants to use it. Can he play like some kind of knight e4, knight c5, and I don't know, rook f7 and try and win that bishop? Knight e4, knight c5, then you. Knight oh, wait, take it. the knight on d3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but Glad maybe. I'm not playing. I oh. bring the king in to try and. Okay. Be Makes more sense, happy. actually. Rook g7, maybe knight f7. Knight f7. No, okay. Oh, wow. Check, king e7. Oh, if this what is, is this? Is this a perpetual? Oh! He blundered! Oh. <laughs> no way! What a plan! Oh my god. Dude, this is gonna be a queen. This pawn's queening. We, we might be going to an Armageddon, boys. Oh. After all. No way. This is, this is insane. Rook f8, surely. It's GG. Rook g1, knight c7. Rook e1, knight e6. Yeah. A queen is being made. Much. Wow. What a clutch. Not sure why he didn't play knight c7. Yeah, but I mean, I guess maybe on knight e6 is there some. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, now it gives him a chance to sack the sack the rook and take on d4 and three those pawns. pawns with the knights so centralized. It looks looks a bit risky. That was that was a slight ah, mistake. The king. That makes sense. Okay, I missed that. Wow. Okay. Um, Okay, so okay, this is drawn. And Dan drew. So base Dan uh, Dan has to win. Dan has to win. To take it to Armageddon. Southampton. Yes. Okay. It's the only hope for Cambridge to make it through the semis. Will they do it? E five. Oh no. This is looking tough. Okay. So what's the Knight plan? E3. Are you going to try and sacrifice the knight for the C pawn? Yeah. That looks like that looks like a winning plan to me. Right. Okay. Well converted, I think. Um. So, so I think I'll ask Dylan to make the WhatsApp group of the captains of Cambridge. Mm -hmm. oh! He blundered the oh, rook. No. Way. no. <laughs> How? How? Oh, that's, that's so evil. That's so evil. Dan. Wait, wait. King e4, knight takes, d5. Now the knight gets back in time. Oh my god. A whole rook. No way. Wait, so... Knight g5 check. Or oh, knight f2. Wow, what a comeback. Yeah. Damn. Indeed. The Blitz Maestro. This is a cr this has been a yeah, crazy and game. Yeah, one would be queening with check, so there's definitely no pawn races here. Okay. King d3, yeah. And I think you queen with check, so it's fine. Yeah, you're a piece up. There's no way <laughs> Billy can and win. White has resigned, black has won, which means Southampton goes 
Three. It's going to be Southampton Two. Oxford Two. final. Wow. What a game. What a, what a match. What a match. We go back here. Wait, when you say here, which move? I'm. Uh, rook move, move sixty nine, which is very nice. Um, knight c seven. Right. Oh, but then there's rook g seven. That's what I missed. Oh, but I thought you were saying knight c seven, not rook g. Yeah, so wait, wait, you have to knight c seven. So knight c seven was mid by rook g seven, and you I can see. still sack the. Sack the rook for right. the pawn. Yeah. But actually, but yeah. yeah, okay. So, wow. so if you don't take this pawn, what can you do? Oh, oh, he just had to play rook f3 first. Right? Instead of rook f6, well, what, what point? Oh, uh, or move 79 instead of, t instead of blundering the rook. Just play Rook F3 first. Yeah. And then take on D5. Then you've got... A5 takes, B4 takes, takes, can you see? You get back in time. But maybe Knight G1. Crazy game. <laughs> I don't have the analysis board up, so oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to visualize all of this, but no, no, yeah, yeah that, that's good. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's why you play so the French. Comes down, it comes down to comes down to tactics in time scrambles like this, even like, even with the top players. Yep. That, that's so tough. Congrats wow. to the yeah. two teams. Congrats to the winning teams. They will move on to the finals, which will take place in a month's time. Um, yep. I believe it's the third Saturday of every month in which we hold the uh, Pukul fixtures. Yep. So, yeah. And I'm sure there'll be more streaming. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. For the final. Yeah. That's, that would be a good okay. stream, for sure. Definitely. Akito will have his computer. It'll, <laughs> it'll be great. Okay. Well, thanks chat for coming yeah and, thank you everyone um, engaging with us the whole time was a lot of fun mm -hmm. yeah thanks for thanks for inviting me uh yeah no worries um, <laughs> thanks for inviting me on the channel too yeah <laughs> awesome stuff um see you stream bye